Welcome to the Jonathan Sports Center here at NNU. This is Ron Williams and Brent Peterson bringing you this game tonight. Special game between NNU and Simon Fraser University. NNU is 13 and 6 overall, 7 and 4 GNAC after an exciting overtime win against number one Western Washington on Thursday night. Simon Fraser comes off a loss at Central. They are 8 and 11 overall, 4 and 6 in GNAC. Season or series history, NNU's record since 2001 is 10 and 11, but in Napa, 6 and 4, in Burnaby, 4 and 6. At neutral sites, 0 and 1, and under Coach Steele, 5 and 3. In the last five matchups, 4 and 1. The last meeting was February 15th, 2020, when NNU won the game 99 to 91. Almost two years ago. That was two years ago since they played. Simon Frazier being out last year with the COVID situation. And uh, NNU has won three out of the last five, as I said, in, uh, winning against Western Thursday night. So looking at the GNAC standings, Western Washington is six and two, Central nine and three, Alaska Anchors eight and three, Montana State eight and three, and then NNU at seven and four. Seattle Pacific six and six, yeah, and then Simon Fraser at four and six. Looking at some of the leaders, Jessica Wasatsky is uh, fifth place in scoring with a 15.5 average. And freshman Gemma Cutler is leading in percent shooting, 59.5% shooting. And our own Nye Nile Thawback is is fifth place in shooting percentage at 50.5. In steals, NNU's Ashlyn Silve and Jordan Pinson each have 1.9 steals per game. In the percentages for the teams, 41% shooting for NNU, 39% shooting for uh, Simon Fraser, 26% from three point land for NNU. 30.9% for Simon Frazier, 70% shooting from the free throw line, 69% for Simon Frazier. Simon Frazier averages 70 points a game, NNU 72, NNU gives up 65.8, Simon Frazier 70 points. So Brent, uh, give us some your insight on what's gonna happen here tonight. Yeah, well I think for the Nighthawks, a huge emotional victory on Thursday against Western Washington has given them their second loss of the season. So for the Nighthawks, the key will be not to let a letdown. Obviously, Simon Fraser, a very strong opponent. The key is to kind of come out sharp, come out precise, ready to go. Uh, for Simon Fraser, you know, they're a solid team. You know, they've lost some close games. Um, they've won uh, the last five, they're three and two. So I think for them, the key will be, you know, what we know the Nighthawks want to do is to press you, um, to fortunate turnovers. And for, the net, for um, Simon Frazier, the key will be to stay under control and look on that shooting. Again, the percentage-wise, they're shooting at the same percentage. Um, they're a little better three-point shooting team than the uh, Nighthawks. And again, they offer uh, sometimes fewer steals as well. So I think ball possession will be key. We know the Nighthawks want to press the ball. So the key will be the turnover battle, who stays at a cleaner game, and then again, who just is sharper overall with turnovers and good defense. Yes, and then you with 30, 379 turnovers this year, 307 for Simon Fraser. All right, with that, we're going to turn it over to the floor announcer for the starting lineups.
All right, we're ready to go in this one. The coach uh, for Simon Frazier, Bruce Langford, in his 21st season. And, of course, head coach Steve Steele now in his sixth season, uh, the first uh, fastest to reach 100 wins for NNU basketball, women's basketball, it is. So we'll see if Kami Kanishka can uh, keep up her play tonight. She just doesn't have a starting nod but uh, she'll be in there shortly, I'm sure. Yeah, she was absolutely clutch with three free throws in the regulation and put them in overtime. And the big three as well, so. And then you gets the rebound and they're gonna re-jump that, I think. What do they call? I'm not sure what it's about. Uh, they didn't like what Nia Thalback did, so. Interesting. <laughs> They just got it. We'll give it to you. All right, Simon Fraser with uh, three starters that are over six foot. I think one of the things is now I thought I touched it again. He can't do that, I think, twice in the, in the jump, I don't think. Attempted shot by Jones, no good. Offensive rebound, though. Picking it in there and laying it up there nicely Georgia was uh, Georgia Swant. Still gets it blocked. Jones picks it up, passes it down court to Kramer. Yeah, I love the aggressive myself. Fortunately, I'm flashbacks to Thursday night's game with uh, the many blocks they had against from Western. Nice give and go there, but it's off the rim, no good. And then, I think Sills oh. is going to the call there. Yeah. Well, I love Sills. She's just, as a freshman, just getting more and more minutes. I love her aggressiveness. She's a very strong player. And as you mentioned, here comes Kanishka coming from the bench. All right, Hart makes that one. Claudia gets an 87% from the free throw line, so good shooter there. And makes them both. So SFU off to a fast start, and here comes Cammy. Pinson brings it down quickly, takes it into the center, passes it in, and I thought back, who lays it up and off the rim. But he gets her own rebound, passes it inside to Clark, and Kate Clark puts it in there. Yeah, nice reverse layup. Zabok didn't give up on the miss and stayed with it. Had a nice feed to a driving Clark. Well done, good execution Clark. there. And Kate Clark, Clark puts it in there. Yeah, nice reverse layup. And that ball is up and in the by miss George Swan. Had a nice feed to a driving. Yeah, Simon Clark is coming out red hot in their shooting. Pinson gets it into the center and then passes it out. Jenkins hands it back to Pinson. Pinson drives to the hole and puts it up and in. Yeah. Jordan has that quickest first step. She's got to get back here. But oh, Coach Steele is not going to like that. There's a quick, fast brick lane yeah. there by Wisotsky. Yeah, Jordan had a great drive there. Pinson up in the air off the rim, no good. Yeah, I think that's not a fighting player coming in way. Swant. And they lose it out of bounds. Yeah, that was all Jordan. Jordan got in her way, didn't foul. Just messed up the timing there of that, that pass. And here comes Tegan Thurman coming in. Again, just a viable player for the Nighthawks. Tegan Thurman now on the floor. She had some good minutes on Thursday. Just not sure she's coming back from something, but great to be on the court. She's a great addition to the Nighthawks team. Foul back now. <clears throat> Has a one-on-one -on -one situation. The ball is stripped. Yep, got a hand poked in there and just absolutely Stripped by Kramer. Yep, good defensive player. Now driving to the hole and throwing it up left-handed. And Kanishi comes out of there with it. But it's 9-4 now, in favor of Simon Frazier. 
Pinson, a kick out, Clark short. short. And Camden gets the rebound. Tegan Thurman, and it's off the rim, no good, and it's rebounded. I think that was uh, Smart on the rebound. I think so. Yep. Uh, Tegan had a nice shot there. Again, the fall. Open look three. Ooh. Up and good by Grace Killens. That was uh, three feet beyond the men's arc there, a deep three. Strong beginning by Simon Frazier. They'd come out at heart. Pass inside of Thurman, who somehow hangs on to it, and they're going to call a foul, I think, as they were trying to get the ball away. Yep, yep. It's almost a, a walk there, but they kind of kind of on her arm and called that foul. Foul on Jessica Jones. First team foul. Clark comes out, and in there goes her sister, Emma Clark. Yeah, those Clark sisters are so good. Just how they play so strong. Oh, they call. Oh, Anaya, it's too bad. I want to thaw back. A legal, legal screen. And stripped away yeah, Emma, by Emma Clark. Just, she's a stealing machine. I always got to watch her on defender. She's always going to be poking at that ball. And then you realize on their steals, that ball stolen. One on two, she throws it up anyway. And then they knock it out of bounds. Yeah, that was going to be ill-advised by Simon Fraser player there. Um, number one, Grace Killens. Killens. She uh, kind of the floater kind of running at it, but give it a good try, but it wasn't maybe ill-advised. Shasha pulled that down, wait for her teammates to come help her out. Kanishka hands it off to Pinson. Pinson drives to the whole little short jumper. It climbs the rim and goes oh, out, man. and now it's loose. And Simon Fraser yeah. comes out of there with it, and that's swamped. Jordan loves that quick, quick, quick shot there. There's a long three, and it's off the rim by Killens. Fight for the board, and comes out of there with it is Wisotsky. Yeah, right now, in lots of ways, Simon Fraser is a little bit sharper than the Nighthawks are. Kramer takes it in there and kicks it out. Long three, off the rim, no good by Wisotsky. And now, finally, Kanishka. Uh, Pogue, they stole that ball. So they got to stop. Kanishka takes it all the way and gets it inside to uh, Fawback, who puts it in. Nice pass there for Coach Kanishka. Steele. Coach Steele is calling for a full court press here. What we don't know is the energy level. The uh, Nighthawks gave such big effort on Thursday. We'll see what they have in their tank tonight. Little turnaround jumper is up and good oh, yeah. by Swint. Simon Frazier shooting very strong beginning minutes this game. Over the top to Tegan, who gets fouled, but they don't call it. Yeah, they call eventually. Late call. Personal All right, they do call the foul. Clayson and Cutler come in now for Simon Frazier and Claire Eubanks for NNU. All right, Tegan Thurman on the line here. Let's get here in the game early. Looks even a little stronger she on Thursday. A little more energy. She nails it. Yeah, Tegan's a prolific scorer and defender and key part of the Nighthawks team. Picks it up and in. Harry Jinks comes in for her. Simon Frazier looks like they were prepared for the press. Yep. That's often a hallmark by Coach three. Steele. It's good by Killens, who's going to keep shooting until she makes him, I guess. Long pass down court. Aaron Jenkins up and in. Boy, great vision by Pinson there. See the full court pass. Long pass down court. Aaron Jenkins Caught up and in. Boy, great vision by Pinson I love that. there. I'll get back on D. Sosky, double teamed. And it's stolen by Kanishka. She'll take it all the way. Got away with carrying the ball. <laughs> It's just been good. Some extra steps there. Never hurt anybody, Ron. <laughs> no, you're right. She was, and she kind of flipped her wrist over too. But great anticipation to get that steal, and uh, it was, it was set up by our teammates who kind of forced a bad pass. A little short throw up there, but no good. And rebound and put up, and no good. Attempted by Wasaski. But another offensive board off her foot and uh, out of bounds, and a new ball. Too bad. She worked really hard for that rebound. It's inadvertent going off her foot. 
All right, that brings us the other Wasowski, Sophia, in there now. And we're going to take a pause here with a score 17 12 with 4 17 to play here in the first quarter. Be back shortly. All right, NU ball. And there now for NNU is Lydia Nieto. Sophia Klassen is in there for Simon Frazier. Eubanks tries to get it up and gets fouled in the shot. Boy, she certainly was playing hard in there. Kind of the inside outside play there. Claire was uh, fighting hard and uh, finally got the foul there. Claire's had some trouble from the free throw line, 66%, and she misses that one. Take your time now. Yeah, a little, little knee bend there. It felt, first it felt a little bit rushed. Got the bounce on that one. Yeah, a little flat coming off her hand, but got the roll there. Wasatsky gets it over to this side to Jones. Jones to Klassen. Open look jumper right there in the middle was McKenna Gardner. Yeah, somehow the defender lost her. A nice open jumper there. Good vision. Great cut to the basket. I'm not sure the defender got screened off. I didn't quite see what happened there, but. Yeah, McKenna Gardner, only a freshman. Over the top, nice the bank, pass. Eubanks. And it gets partially blocked on the shot. But she gets the offensive rebound. All right. Claire's fighting hard down there, Ron. Again, she's kind of went on two several occasions, and those folks are a little bit taller, but she's playing tough down there. Love that. Ashlyn Sill back in. Yeah, Ashlyn Sill, great, great tough player. Gets the jumper off the rim, fight for the board, and Claire Eubanks is able to uh, get the jump ball there. Love that. That's a free possession you stole right there. Active hands are really helpful. Yeah, Claire, just a lot of energy coming in tonight off the bench. It's going to bring Georgia Swint back in for McKenna Gardner. And a new baseline play. Let's see what they have here. They get it into Jenkins. 18 on the shot clock. Yeto, Ooh, tough shot. Jumper, no good, and it's rebounded by Jones. Yeah, that's a tough shot, fading away to the side. Jones brings it down, hands off to Swant. Now with Sotsky, back to Swant. Player on the floor, open look three, and it's good. Yeah, she did some of her ankle or knee there. She's grimacing a little bit, getting catching her stride there, but the defender took advantage of her, her person falling down and. Nieto, cross court pass. Emma Clark takes it baseline. Back outside. 10 on the shot clock. Fans are counting it down. Nieto, excuse me, Sill. Nice play by Sill. Yeah, Sill kind of heard the clock uh, count down there, just I'm going to the hole. Lowered her head and just made her way to the hoop. Nice left. Double dribble twice. He missed it. Yeah, Coach Steele's with you. 
<laughs> Not sure what happened there. And then a short little jumper. Nice play there by Simon Frazier and the basket by G Gemma Cutler, who's in there now. She's okay. I think she's had some bang knees. Yeah, I think she'll go walk that off. Emma Clark comes out now. Pinson back in. Again, Ron, it's a nine-point lead by Simon Frazier. They're just playing sharp, not missing uh, many buckets at all. Well, they got a break there. That should have been double dribble. Yeah, that's true. Eubanks cannot get it off, clearly. And they're calling that. I don't know how that could have been not touched by Simon Frazier during that. The other referee is going to come over there. No? Yeah, they just weren't paying attention. Yeah. Wow. Long court pass. Nobody's back, but quickly hustling a silve. Now, and it's stolen by Lydia. <laughs> yeah, it's a great hustle there. Several plays that happened there. Great hustle got to the turnover there. Inside now to Jenkins. He takes it around the defender and puts Boy, it up and in. Yeah, you got to get your own going out there, big post players. They're aggressive, but. Jenkins takes it around the defender. Jenkins now with her first basket, looking for three now. All right, gets the three-point play. Bringing it a little closer here. 132 to play in the first quarter. Oh, brother, what a ticky-tack call. <laughs> so, they're so silly when they call those, I think. That, nothing was egregious, but whatever. All right, again, pressure put on by Anna Yu. Now the whistle. Oh, I think I think she moved because it was on a, a turnover. She can't move. Oh, so I think they uh, you can't move your feet. And so again, two unique calls, but I knocked the ball back. And then you Jenkins gets the ball knocked out of bounds. So typically, unless it's a made basket on the other team, you can't move your feet on the inbound play. And I think it's what they call it there. She kind of moved your feet and it's a kind of a tense of traveling. <laughs> Going to bring Claudia Hart back Claudia in there. Hart. Claudia is senior, one of the uh, three seniors on the team. And as you mentioned, Ron, uh, this team didn't really have a season last year. That's hard on lots of ways. Off the rim attempted there by uh, Yeto, but NNU gets the ball back temporarily anyway. All right, they got it. Great job by Jordan just popping that ball loose. Yeto tries to get around the defender, and it's up and good. <laughs> Well, that's just great heart, great hustle there. Jordan was going down, popped it over, and she took it to the hole, and then had a great, Nieto had a great finish there. And we've had several and ones recently. Oh, she showed her game. dribbling skills there, a little behind the back dribbling. She did, yeah, a little drop step there, and then just the effort and the finesse to get that in under the foul there. So makes this here, gonna move it to a four point game. And she misses it, unfortunately. It's too bad. All right, 102 to play here in the first quarter. Ooh, Jordan got away with one there. Jones holds, gets it inside. That's a great pass. And uh, shooting there was Cutler and draws the foul. What a great entry pass. You want to, that just is a great position. And then that, nothing else to do but the foul. 13 foul. Well, Jenna Cutler, as we said earlier, is the leading percentage shooter in the league. Only a freshman this year. Not as good on the free throw line, though. 61% from the free throw line, so. Well, with her height, I imagine a lot of our shooting percentage is close shots. So that, that does help. But often you have folks who are banging you hard in there, too. So it's it's hard anywhere on the floor, Ron. How she gets one out of two. It's 25, 19, 50 seconds. Pension gets it over to Clark. Jenkins tries to drive. Back out to Nieto. Thurman at the free throw line. It goes around the defender and puts it up, and they're going to call oh, traveling. That is not that, a travel. That looked like a legal step there. That is there. not a travel. That's a bad call. 
You can have to do a drop step there, a back reverse pivot. Another open player, That's and the uh, ending you did not get back. That four, happens sometimes on a press. Yeah, and a four point swing there, which is too bad, because that was absolutely not a travel. It's a missed call there. Penson will take it to the hole, and she gets fouled on the way in there. What I've seen, Ron, if you penetrate, those bigs on, with the Simon Frazier, they love to foul, so that eventually will catch up to you in the, in the end of the fourth quarter in foul trouble, but if you get in there, give them a fake, they're, gonna, they're not disciplined with their hands and bodies. They're going to foul you. Yeah, it's too bad for Tegan. That was a, a bad call in that travel. It's up and good. That was the first free throw for NNU in this game. What you see, Ron, is both teams are way over their average. So the defense is not <laughs> playing strong. And it's NNU ball as Swint had nowhere to go with it and threw it out of bounds. 13, they could get a shot off here for 13 oh, seconds. It only has nine seconds. You better do it quickly. Benson tries to get a look. Can't get it. Nieto, an open look three. Off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Hart, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Both teams uh, with uh, quite a few points, 27 to 21 here. And uh, we'll take a break and be back after this quarter break. Welcome to NNU. For over 100 years, we've had one goal. Make the world a better place. It's all happening here, the Boise Valley, and we're smack in the middle of it. Challenging programs, we've got a hundred of them. How does an average class size of 17 sound? Professors who actually care? We're talking a 15 to one ratio. Trust us, they care. We're NNU, here for you, here for good. At NNU, your classroom is anywhere and anytime you need it to be. With online classes for undergrad and graduate degrees, your future begins where you are. Find your program at nnu.edu. All right, Simon Frazier will bring it down. 9.57 here in the second quarter. Three attempt, off the rim, no good. Attempted by Jones, and there is a whistle. You're gonna shoot three, th three free throws. Lady Nieto picks up the foul. Yeah, one of the things we can see is the first quarter, um, Simon Frazier shooting 60% largely, and uh, they're average 70 points per game. See, they got almost, 40% of that in that first quarter. So again, um, something's going to give there. And, and again, the Nighthawks are known for their defensive prowess. So obviously, I think some of that is probably Ron is the emotional letdown of the Thursday game. But again, the percentage is really high. Hopefully, that can come down and be more reasonable. And the other thing too is they're shooting pretty well from the three-point line. I don't think the Nighthawks have had a three yet go down. So no, 0 for four. They yep. have uh, four three-pointers. We have none. That's a big difference. Yep. Yep. So again, that percentage on, on their shooting percentage and their scoring, that can need to leverage out hopefully to get more in favor of the Nighthawks and we'll see them bring this game closer together. Pinson thought about shooting, didn't. Kate Clark over to Nieto. Nieto tries to drive in there, passes it inside. Kate Clark, turn around, passes it to a cutter. Nate and Thigh misses it. And then Thurman, is, Thurman puts it in. Yeah, I thought about kind of had a rough shot there, but Tegan right there to clean it up, put it back in. Nice rebound, offensive rebound, and bucket. Okay. It's a great strip by Clark. As Sotsky tried to get it through there, but Clark, Clark said no and way. Clark has one of the best hands, just so feisty, and there you go, Tegan. Great inside out, drain this one. Oh, nice Thawback shot. gets the rebound on the attempted shot by Clark. 
Now Thurman gets the rebound, yeah. but passes it to a defender. Yeah, she, she was falling out of bounds, had no choice. But Jones comes out of there with it. Now a couple of players underneath, wide open. Yeah, that's the case of not getting back. Bad communication on defense, and that, that helps you get pursuing percentage up in your wide open layups there. And that oh. ball passed out of bounds. Another turnover. Oh, bad turnover there. Coach wants to keep in the uh, three point or the full court press. And I think it's where the Nighthawks are their best. You just you know, feel like, Ron, that intensity is, isn't quite there they had on Thursday. Obviously, they were geared up for Western, but just the emotional and the energy they provided. All right, Kanishka comes in. See if Kami can spark him a little bit here. Oh, and that oh, ball oh. errantly passed. Fight for the ball. Jones gets it. And brings it down herself. Pass it in the yeah. corner. There's a shot up and no good attempted there by Wasatsky. Rebounded offensively, put up no good attempted by Cutler. So a yeah. stop for NNU. Penson will take a little jumper, and it's good. Oh, nice jumper by Jordan Penson. Little stutter step, shake and bake, and got open look there. And if the Nighthawks have the energy, they are at their best with that full court press, forcing every out of bounds play to be big. Swant looks inside. Now another inside player. Missed shot, but gets her own rebound. That was Cutler in there, and she draws the foul. Tegan Thurman picks up that foul. Yeah, again, it just feels like they're getting um, some inside open looks in the baseline there several times, and that's just not going to help you on defense, obviously. Up and good that time by Cutler. Four points now for her. But misses the second. Kanishka gets the rebound. Brings it down quickly. Long pass down to Th Thurman. All right. Now you love that. Great, great vision there by Kanishki. You got to slow them down. Wysotsky with it. Right up by Thurman. Swant over the top. Passes it away. Clark has it. Yeah, Three great, on two. Great defense there. Clark brings it in, but now thinks Thinks better pulls of it. Back out. Come on, Tegan. Tegan there it is. Thurman from three. There you go. Tegan's got a great inside out game. The lethal three point shooter. Is that when the fall pulls to a two point game, Ron? Maddox have kind of clawed their way back in this first half. Jones takes a baseline, little stutter step jumper, and it's up and good. Nice play by Kyra, or Jessica Jones, excuse me. Kanishka off the rim, no good. Yeah, if I'm the coach, that's a no man's land shot there. Uh oh, another loose player down low there. And oh. in for the basket is Joma Cutler. That's funny, both these teams have let the other team fast break on themselves several times. We've had several open looks. Simon Frazier is pushed, and that's just not helpful. Back to a six-point lead quickly. Almost tapped away there. Thawback gets it back. Now Clark, 12 yeah. on the shot clock. Henson looks inside to Thawback, and it's tapped, tapped away. away. Yep. Jones gets it off over to the left side. Another three-point attempt is off the rim. No good attempted by Swan. All right, Jenkins comes in, Nieto comes in. Grace Killens comes in for Simon Fraser, along with uh, Sophie Klassen. And Emma Kramer. Jenkins looks inside, now over to Kanishka. Pinson looks inside, Kanishka has it. Oh, a wild oh, pass, man. and this play there. Is that press still working here? I think the Nighthawks are their best at that press, the energy to do it. Well, it's still a six-point difference, same as it was at halftime, I mean, at first quarter. Nighthawks got to be careful about the foul out there. You love her energy, but just, oh, nice poke there by hogging that passing lane by Kanishka. Another That's long three attempt, and wow. get another three by Killens. That was a deep one. She's got some range. Pushes that to all quickly to a nine-point lead all of a sudden. 
almost stolen away, Kanishka. Yeah, Jordan got a little bit, lost the handle there a little bit there. Now thought back, one-on-one -on -one against her defender. That's a great play. Oh, man, good body there by Nia. Just didn't get to fall. I loved her aggressiveness with that shoulder. Cutler gets the right. rebound. Three-point attempt again. It's up and good by, guess who, Killens. Yeah, Killens is killing it. I think that's her third three. That's a foul on Sophie Classen. Personal foul called on number four, Sophie Classen, her second All right, we're going to have a media timeout we're here. Moment, Let the smoke clear a little bit. 42 30. Big lead here for Simon Fraser with 4.59 to play in the second. We'll be right back. One of these people is taking their first steps into higher education. One of these people is about to be the first in their family to earn a bachelor's degree. One of these people is finishing their master's degree and working full time. One of these people is about to be called doctor. Which one is which? It doesn't matter. What matters is that they're all here for good. It's me, your Idaho Central Credit Union app. Rough morning. Is that a mobile deposit? I got this. Beat it, Charlie. We're making money moves here. Cha-ching. And done. Charlie, come on, outside. Sorry about the mess. I'd help if I had hands. The closest Idaho Central Credit Union branch is in your pocket. All right, the coaches have had their say, and uh, and you hopefully will come out with a little better defense, as several baskets have been made on fast breaks by Simon Fraser. In addition, they're shooting six for 11 or 55 percent of the three-point line. That's actually making a difference in this game right now. And you're right, some open looks under underneath. He's not getting back on defense. Offensively, they're not doing too bad, but defensively, they got to figure something out. All right, we got a whistle here. He just knocked out of bounds. All right, in and you certainly need someone to step up here. And that ball is oh. knocked loose. Yeah. So turnover number eight for in and you. And another foul on Yetho. Yeah, yeah, probably a good call there. A little aggressive. Team foul number three. Kate Clark comes in for the ninth thaw back. So, and then you going with the all guard. Got a smaller lineup here. Except for Jenkins. Over the top shot, no good, uh, but offensively rebounded, and then shot up by Wasatsky, fouled on the play. Yep. Yeah, it just feels like, uh, Ron, there's just not a lot of energy from the Nighthawks right now. Again, they've had some, the Simon Fraser shooting the ball very well, and the reality, that's gonna come back in the second, in the second half, you're sure, but the problem is the energy right now. Just, I think the, the emotional toll of Thursday's game, I think is still weighing on the players. And they can recover, but um, you can just see they're just not quite the intensity they had on Thursday. But they got to kind of find a way to kind of light the spark in them. Yeah, they have 18 rebounds compared to 12 for NNU, so that's yeah. definitely a difference. Ball knocked out of bounds by Jordan Pinson. And, and right there, there losing a, a rebound off a free throw. That's just not that's just bad execution. You should always box out and win that every time. But there's Gardner in there now for Simon Fraser. Throws it outside. Three. No good attempted there by Wisniewski. Now yeah. offensive rebound again. Yeah, Simon Fraser is just absolutely all over this game with energy and just. The basket was by McKenna Gardner. Nighthawks got to figure it out here. Jenkins in the key, turn around, shot, and she is fouled. Went down pretty hard. And the irony is that was the same move that Tegan had. They called a travel on earlier. 
The other thing we're noticing, Ron, you mentioned not only was there kind of open, fast breaks, but the shots they're getting down here are wide open. They're just moving the ball in ways that they're taking open looks and, and knocking them down. All right, up and good by Jenkins. Five points now for her. That foul was on Hart, by the way. Back in there is Cutler and Jones. And in for in and you, Claire Eubanks. Jones brings it down. Guarded by Nieto. Yeah, Jessica Jones has some good handles. She's good bringing that ball down the court. Several times she's been their press breaker. Little open jump shot is off, and it's went in. That was a basket by Clayson. Yeah, just popped right up, went back in. Back that 14-point lead. Clara Eubanks now. Backs in, turn around, and it's up and good. Wow. Nice offensive play. That was a great move by Claire. Under control. And defender was right there, but just um, great play by Claire. Eubanks now has three points. And the ball is stripped away. There's a whistle. Wow. Who did they call it on? So I think it was away from, I think they called her away from the ball. Um, it was on number 12. Emma Kramer, I just, I didn't see it to be honest with you. I, I think it was not near the ball as I missed it, so. All right, and then you needs to score. Yeah, they got to take advantage of turnovers here. Jenkins on the left side. Pinson. Uh, no, nope, air ball. And uh, Claire Eubanks couldn't quite get to it. Yeah, for how Jordan shoots threes, just moving to the side is not her best shot. She comes straight forward to shoot those. All right, Wasowski, yeah. Sophia back in there for Kramer. Yeah, I love Jordan shooting him. Just that one just doesn't feel like the one she normally makes. When 33 is her ball handler coming to the court. She takes it all the way in there and then throws it outside and then it's knocked off of uh, Posotsky. And then you ball. Again, just we need to make some good possessions here. Take care of the ball and execute and get some buckets. Not that big of a lead, but you've got to chip away a little bit of time. All right, Nieto tries to get around the block. Kanishka, it's going to be a three. It's off the rim, no good, as NNU continues those shooting woes from three. Yeah. Not quite the spring in their steps tonight, I don't think, Ron, so far, but so they can turn that around. Driving into the center and then getting it blocked, but then the ball goes over to Wasowski as Cutler missed, Wasowski miss, and then he gets the rebound. And he's in this game. We just got to find a little spark somewhere. A lot of flat right now, a lot of tired looks in the court. Yeah, man, just tough passes. A lot of one-on-one -on -one play in the offense. Uh, Eubanks gets a one-on-one -on -one chance. Can't get it to go, and it's rebounded by Cutler. I tried that move last time, it worked for it, not quite the fall this time. And that ball still went away. Yeah, again. Out the travel they didn't call. There's the three, and that's traveling. Yeah. Took, took step after she caught it. Yeah, I think Coach Shield didn't like it, but I think that was the correct call. 132 to play here in the second quarter. Simon Frazier came prepared for this game. Yeah. Getting through the press, no problem. Jones gets it inside. Cutler gets it back over to Posotsky, or excuse me, Klassen, who missed this shot. Jenkins takes it all the way in and throws it up there and in. Wow. Great job by Jenkins. Again, we need a little bit of spark here. There's one minute left. She can cut this into a single digit deficit. This free throw here. Aaron with eight points now. Yep. 
They're just looking for any kind of spark for the Nighthawks. Just the Simon Frazier looks so prepared and they're shooting so well. And again, one of the strengths of the Nighthawks is just they feed off their defensive intensity and they just don't have the tank tonight thus far. Jessica Wasatsky goes in for Klassen. There it is, good three-point play. Then get a little turnover here in this break. It's a press. Six to play. Sotsky, now Jones. She's a good ball handler. Turn around, shot, no good, and it's rebounded by J uh, Jones. Jessica Jones. Fortunately, Claire fell down to her uh, opponent. Had an easy look there. 45 seconds, pass inside. Claire Eubanks get away with double dribble. Yeah, she did, didn't she? She dribbled that ball, put it with both hands, and went up. But she draws the foul, good for her. We can make some uh, free throws here, that'd be helpful. Claire has three points so far. And Claire's not working hard too, I mean, the problem is she just has one move she's used over and over again. She worked one time and one time a miss, that time a foul, so for the defender, you wanna just do a little variation there. And that's no good. 10 point difference, 37 seconds. Jones gets it over to Killens, who gets called for traveling. So. Yeah, I think that call was my other call they had down there. It's the case when you have the ball and you kind of take off, they want that dribble is a little bit late, they're gonna call that travel. All right, Georgia Swank comes back in. Simon Frazier and Tegan Thurman comes back in for NNU. Well, Jenkins is back in also. I think she thought she was coming out. Yeah, I think there's confusion there where the ball is coming in. So 30 seconds here, down by 10. You'd love to get a nice good shot off here, break that, move that lead under 10. Boys. Thurman takes it in there, turn around jumper, traveling again. Right. I don't know what they're seeing. What the... Uh, Legitimate, but I don't know. That's again, she's dribbling and did the back step. Kate Clark checks in. Kate yeah. Clark back in for Keegan. I don't know what they're seeing on that travel call. Only 17 seconds. Kosatsky out front, hands it to Jones. Guarded quickly by Jenkins. Long three attempt, no good. And another offensive rebound, another three shot, and it's oh, up and good God. by guess who, Killens. So uh, it's been all Simon Frazier, and uh, they've already scored more points than some of these other teams that have scored all game against NNU. So hopefully they can take a break and rest up here and come out strong in the second half. All right, we're going to take halftime break. See you after halftime.
All right, we're ready for the second half here at the Johnson Sports Center in this matchup between Simon Fraser and NNU. Simon Fraser, 51, NNU 38. Mostly off of the three-point shooting of Simon Fraser, seven out of 14. 15 points now for Killens, five out of eight field goals and five free throw, or excuse me, five three-pointers. That was five out of six, so again, credit to her. Um, the averages say you're not gonna compete that in the second half, but we'll see, but that's clearly the difference in the first half, you know, clearly. Brennan Yu, uh, Thurman has nine points, and Jenkins has nine points. The rest, uh, some kind of sparse scoring there. Penson does have six. Claire Eubanks getting some minutes tonight, four points. The big difference I see right now is 28 rebounds, and 13 of those were offensive rebounds for Simon Frazier. Only 14 rebounds for NNU, so that's really a, an area that they're going to have to improve on in the second half. Well, I think, Ron, you know, and we were chatting before the game, you know, we talked about what an amazing game it was on Thursday. You're playing Western. Um, obviously, they were keyed up, and they were, their intensity was just unmatched. The effort they had was just unbelievable. And to be really honest, Simon Frazier is playing well, shooting well. But a lot of that we've just seen is just a hustle. And typically, the uh, Nighthawks just don't have the energy thus far. They don't have the spark. They look, they look tired, to be honest. We were no noting, too, that they actually play Simon Frazier next week and then go on a stretch of playing a game every two days. So the key is going to be is finding that kind of long-term capacity to kind of stay with it overall. But <coughs> You okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, this certainly been a, an interesting weekend as they come off a great win Thursday night against the number one team. And now here, uh, you know, you think they might have an advantage over Simon Frazier, but Simon Frazier came to play today, and those three-point shots are hard to overcome um, when somebody gets hot like that. Killen's uh, coming into this one was only shooting 27% from beyond the arc, and now it's five for six tonight. Some of that, though, is uh, coming after uh, secondary chances uh, from offensive rebounds. So NNU is going to have to block out better. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, 51 points scored against NNU in the first half. Nobody would have guessed that as NNU has been very tough on defense this year, allowing only 65 points a game. Sorry about that, Ron. That's all the wrong direction there. Yeah, I think, again, this is certainly doable. Obviously, you know, Nighthawks are potent. The key is going to be their energy. Can they bring the energy for the rebounds and their defense and their press? Uh, that's going to be the key. They're, they're offensively strong enough, but it's going to be their game is premised on their defense and their steals, and that's going to be the key. And, again, you got to rebound. you got to get back on D. Yeah, the way things are going, I, I hope to see uh, some of the other players that haven't played yet get in the game. Sometimes that'll spark a team. Exactly. No, you get a bench player just because fired up and ready to go energy. But again, anything's possible. Obviously, that three at the very end of the half didn't help. Without that, it'll be a 10 point game. But all this is doable. The key is just the energy and the effort. Right, and they're going to kind of dig deep and see what they got in their tank. We got the ball. All right, ready for the second half here. And you gets the <laughs> ball. And Jordan Pinson brings it down to start things off. Over the top, Nye Thurman. Thawback, excuse me. Nice pass inside to Jenkins. She can't finish. That was a great play set up there. Great fake, and uh, Thawback saw just couldn't finish there. But a great good set coming out of the half. Fortunately, couldn't fall. Over the top pass. Up and off the rim. Attempted there by Wasatsky. Bob back with a rebound. And again, rebounding, you mentioned it's something so crucial. They dominated the half on oh, a bad turnover. Errant pass there as uh, <clears throat> back was trying to get it to Jenkins. That was a good idea, just, again, just a little bit off. Coming to this full court press, and again, we have energy. I think we feed off this to force turnovers. One of the best in the GNAC with turnover margins. Kramer brings it down herself. Is it to Swint? 
Kramer. Kramer will try a three. It's off the rim. Clark gets a rebound. You hope percentages change. If we start making more and they make less, and that'll be a huge, be a huge asset to the second half. Nia fell back only with two points so far. I think it might try to get the ball to her here. Yeah, she's tried. Henson around the block, misses the shot. Silve gets the rebound, and it's knocked out of bounds by Hart. You like the offensive rebound there? Again, he's, he's just staying with it. Shots will fall. The key is being aggressive with those 50-50 balls and rebounds. What'd they call there? Uh, he is the same ref who's called all those travels. Traveling call, okay. Yeah, I think he's got a little bee in his bonnet about traveling <laughs> tonight. It wasn't even his call to make, but. And that call is going to be against Silve. First one around, nine box number 43, Ashley Silve, her third, two foul number one. Yeah, the calls haven't gone in and used way very much tonight. Maybe leaving out here. Do <laughs> that there could have been a call to travel if they wanted to. Well, driving to the hole is Claudia Hart. She gets fouled on the way in there. They're going to call it a shooting foul. Tegan Thurman comes in for Jenkins. Yeah, and just right now, just see on the faces, the Nidox just look, they look tired. They're, um, we need some positive energy, positive mojo to turn this around. Left hand free throw up a good by Claudia Hart. It's only a third point tonight. All free throws. Make it four. Trying to get it to thaw back. She gets it this time. We're going to call traveling on that one. She took an extra traveling. step there. Almost stolen by Pinson. Jones takes care of it, brings it down. Jones takes it in there. The ball blocked by Lydia Nieto. Now still with it. Passes it quickly down. Here's Tegan Thurman. She's going to try an open look three. It climbs no. the rim. Fought back, gets the rebound, and gets fouled immediately. She didn't even get the shot off, I don't think. Yeah, she was going up. I like that shot by Tegan. She was open and good looks didn't get a fall, but got the rebound there. And so she wasn't shooting. Yeah, and that foul, that wasn't the shot. Yeah, Tegan had a shot to the rebound there, but in the rebound, they called yeah, on the way up for it. Oh, a nice cutter and pass. Oh, she missed the lay-in, but rebounded by Lydia Nieto, or Silve, excuse Silve. me. Silve misses it, and it's knocked out of bomb by Simon Frazier, I believe. Nope, they call it off of NNU. We're trying to help NNU out here. Ben New has yet to score this half yet. Swint off the rim. Offensive rebound again by yeah. Jones. They have a lot more energy and passion right now than we do. Oh, what a nice little shot there by Wasatsky. That was Jessica Wasatsky as the two sisters are playing here. And then of course, has the Clark sisters. Over the top, and it's too oh, far. Man. Jones picks it up. Yeah. Yeah. If you're Simon Frazier, this is blood in the water time. You can just sense the lack of energy by the Nighthawks. Just missing in layups and just not executing. And there's a little shot there, no good, attempted by Swant. Jordan Pinson takes it in there, gets bumped. Jordan Pinson. 
I think they'll call that a shooting foul, although yeah. she was bumped before she got rid of it. Yeah, she was in the act of shooting. That probably just go to the line there. The ref called two shots. That's the right call there. Well, these will be a chance for their first points of the half for the Nighthawks. Well, Jordan, uh, two for two from the line so far, has six points. And Nighthawks just needing some kind of spark. Oh, brother. Oh, another missed free throw. Yeah. Nine out of 14 from the free throw line. Up and good by Jordan. Again with the press. Again, the calling card for the Nighthawks, their intensity and steals. And just, they're just, they just don't quite have that fire in their bellies tonight, looks like. And he does have seven steals, but uh, that's a little low for them. Jones steps back. Fires up there, no good. And again, an offensive rebound. Yeah, those 50 50 balls, they, you just, it shows the energy you have. I and mean, the balls on the floor, you got to want it more than the other person. And right now, Simon Frazier is getting after it a little better than the Nighthawks are. I love Sil, so feisty in there. Going right around the defenders and putting it up and in is Jessica Wisotsky. Yeah, Jessica's had several good buckets down there around defender recently. All right, Sil passes it out almost away, but. Picked up by Clark. Henson over to Sill. Sill gets it inside to Tegan Thurman. Little turnaround lay in. Nice job of Tegan to get that in. I think everyone's waiting for the travel call again. They didn't call the last same move she's been having. So Thurman. again, he just gets some stops here. Lay in. Nice time. job. Of there you go. Nice anticipation to steal by Tegan Thurman. <laughs> get herself another basket. There we go. A little spark there. Got 13 now. Then string some points together and kind of possession by possession get back in this game. Pass over the top. And then open look three by Swant. No good. And in there for the rebound is Kanishka. So a stop by Annan Yu. Let's see if they can take advantage of it here. Pinson goes around to the uh, baseline and then oh, passes it up. Kate Clark and it's oh, yeah. good. But three for Kate Clark. So percentage is helping. They have. Simon Frazier has missed their threes. We made ours. It's only the second three for NNU. Maybe that's a sign of something happening here. Let's take a pause here, and uh, we'll come back right after this. It's me, your Idaho Central Credit Union app. Oof, that's gonna cost ya. Don't look so worried. Applying for a visa on a Saturday? I know who'll answer our questions. Please be Abby, please be Abby. Abby! Video chat to the rescue. The closest Idaho Central Credit Union branch is in your pocket. So far uh, in the second half, no threes yet for Simon Frazier. And then he does have the one. And yeah. They're kind of inching their way. Again, their percentages are going to even out, you'd think. Again, us making some and then them missing some. But it's just it's possession by possession at this point. Oh, man. What a terrible Another breakaway lay-in and a missed free throw, but a foul on yeah. Jenkins. That was a great foul by Jenkins. At that point, you, that's worth it. Even though, not sure if fouls Jenkins has, but and but just, you, you got to pay attention to that. On several of their inbounds plays, they launch folks deep. Now yeah, we're going to have a quick timeout here. Yeah, I don't think I've seen as many breakaway uh, lay-ins against NNU as I have in this game. Well, and part of that is their strategy on their press break. They often send someone deep, but then some have just been not getting back. I mean, you know, it's been a regular on rebounds or something else. There's not got it back in time. That was just a set play 
where we got kind of caught napping, and you love the aggressiveness of the press, you've got to watch Idaho the deep ball. And that's one of the things that they, Simon Frazier is not afraid to do, they've done it several times as well. And Jenkins, again, I think it's a good foul, because you know, at that point, make her earn from the stripe. And the list of um, and so, uh, but yeah, that's been the key to their game, and they just have not been paying attention to that backdoor pass, the lob pass. Well, NNU uh, goes on the road after this game. In fact, the next game is against Simon Frazier on the 15th. Then that's St. Martin's on the 17th, Western Oregon on the 19th, Western Washington on the 21st. So a big week of basketball coming up away for NNU. Yeah, and the key here is just the time of the season. So most of the COVID issues we think are mostly over, but it's going to be about finesse. You just got to find a way, a lot of basketball coming up. And again, you got to believe in yourself and uh, give up the effort. And again, the Niners have a great team. And th this game here is certainly within reach. Uh, the key is just kind of uh, possession by possession winning. All right, well, was Sotsky at the line? And she gets that up and in there. She's got 10, 11 points. Yeah, in some regard, we were lucky it wasn't an and one because she was far ahead of Jenkins when that foul happened. All right, Jenkins gets it. A little bit of full court pressure put on by Sam and Frazier there. No problem for Nieto. Now it's Thurman, a little turnaround jumper. Can't get it to go. Yeah, well, and Jones gets it. Well boxed out, good rebounds there. No Nighthawk for loose. The key is just finding a little bit extra in the tank here, a little more intensity. They get some stops. Getting those hands in the passing lanes and knock something free. There's another three. This time it's rebounded by Thurman. Uh, good job by Tegan there. Strong rebound. Could have called over the back there. Come on, Tegan, knock that down. Oh, didn't have the legs in it. See, she stepped armed it. Saw that shot. She didn't bend her knees. Just... Jones, Jones tries one. No. And yeah, you can see their, their numbers are coming back to reality. We knew they would. Be nice of the. Maddox and knocks him down here. When you're open, three is a great shot. Tegan, that last one just didn't have enough knee bend. Tegan on the free throw line will try driving in there. Turn around, shot, no good. Yeah, on that one, there just didn't like she had the legs underneath her again. That one. I like the aggressiveness there, and that's a great kind of shot for her, but it's too far out. Driving in there is. Kramer. There's a three. It's a good. Jessica Wisotsky. It's a beautiful shot. So once again, the threes starting to come into play for Simon Frazier again. Yep. Again, back up to a 16-point lead after a couple stops here. We need a little run here. Five, seven-point run would help. Jenkins uncontested oh, land, but can't get it to go. Tegan Thurman gets the rebound. Hands it to Jenkins who puts it in. Good teamwork there. Boy, Tegan did some rebounds. They could have called some fouls there, but did not. That time, they need you back on the fat. No, oh, there's great. a loose player. Somebody didn't block out Swent. Yeah, too many times tonight we've seen open layups off the defenses. They're not getting, covering the players, getting back on time. Kami Kanishka loses it, misses the shot. Fight for the ball, and there's going to be a foul. Yeah, a little desperation play there. Cammy Kanishka. All right. Into the game comes then Lynn Bonner for the first time tonight. Well, as you mentioned, kind of a line change. I like this call by Coach Steele. Again, you want some extra energy, maybe a little more. Um, maybe you can spark some here. These folks have some extra uh, fresh legs. So I like this call by Steve. Last little bit here, get some stops. Claire Eubanks back in. Uh oh, there's. Uh, yeah, Killens. Killens missed that one. She's yep. human. Yeah, they, again, those stats always come back to reality after a while. Eubanks on the free throw line. Claire should take that. Gets it back out. It's going to be a long three. Fouled on the play was Nieto. I think she had a couple of those on third, didn't she? She couple, did. A couple uh, threes that were fouls, and so she was pretty good from the line doing that. It'd be great to get these three here. 
Again, yeah, lots of time left here. He is just um, winning each possession on offense and defense. One possession at a time. Getting these three shots here, which should be a help. All right, Gardner coming in. And Sophia Wazowski. Oh, man. Another missed free throw. Reminder again of Cammy's free, three, free throws at the end of the game. Just had to make all three and did. Just was such a clutch on Thursday night. All right. She gets three shots after the three point attempt. So yep. get one more here. Let's hope this one can knock it in, make it to a four point, 14 point difference. Okay, four points now for number four, Lydia Nieto. All right, little press here. Again, see if we can get a little turnover for some strong ball handling. So far, Sam and Frazier has done very well against the uh, NNU press, typically. And 33 is our main ball handler. Jessica, there's a press. She's typically one of the breaking up the court. That was a travel they didn't call. So that's a wild pass off of NNU. Ah, bad break. It was an errant pass. We ended up popping, touching it, but off the night hex. It'll be an inbound baseline. McKenna Gardner will hold it. Gets it quickly in, and there's going to be a quick foul as Jones gets the ball on Lydia Nieto. That's number three on her, and that's the fifth team foul on NNU with 119 to play Actually, here. that's a four on Ashton and Sills. Yeah, and I, I love Ashlyn. She's a freshman. The one thing I would say to her is, she, is try to be a little more in control with your body. I love her aggressiveness. She plays so strong, but she just kind of seems to collect fouls sometimes. And I think it's, you, know, you love the aggressiveness. You just got to learn how to play a little more finesse, a little more control. Um, but I, I love how aggressive she is. All right, Jones makes that good. 65-50. Pretty much an even quarter so far. Bonner, Kanishka. Nye Thaw back in there now, gets it into Claire Eubanks. Double team, outside pass. Bonner, no good. Rebound by Jones, and she gets fouled by yeah, that's Lydia. Yeah, it's a frustration foul. Um, you know, her, uh, her desire to get that ball was there, just that, that play is a frustration foul. That's her third foul. And they're already at five, yeah. Sylv has four now. Yeah. Sylv's a great player, too. We just Sometimes you just got to be wise with your body and how you play on defense. But I love her aggressiveness. But All right, Jones having a good game. Of course, she's a senior, got a lot of experience, and showing it tonight. And in you, of course, did not have a senior this year. Clear you, Banks. Takes it one on one against the defender, but can't get it to go. And I thought that gets the board and puts it in. Great thought by thought back there. Double team, ball tapped loose. A lot of loose play going on. They're going to call traveling, I think, or something. Nope. Fouls on Thawback. Uh, it's her second. So back on the line goes Jones. She's got yeah, nine a, points. But I'm sure the ages here is, is probably several double more fouls on uh, the Nighthawks than Simon Frazier. So I'm sure that's part of what Coach Steele is talking about. Even those foul counts. All right, Jones now with uh, 10 points. She's six for eight from the free throw line. Uh, back ahead of the uh, free throw line. Kanishka, Nieto. Uh, boy, the defense by Simon Frazier has been so good. Seven on the shot clock, fall back. Takes it in there. Somehow gets a shot off. And it's knocked out of bounds by Gardner. So NNU gets the ball back, but is there any shot clock time left? Yeah, and I don't know if I hit that rim on that shot by Kanishka. Uh, they got three on the shot clock, I think. Well, the 30-second clock went off, and I don't know if they... 
So, yeah, they're saying it did not hit the rim, so they have one second to get it off. Three seconds in the in the quarter, but only one on the shot clock. They're putting 3.3 <coughs> up there. Why, I don't know. Okay, I'm, okay. That's not what I heard the ref say at the, the table, but there, there you go, there's one clock. So there's one second to get it off, three in the, in the quarter. You're right. Just gotta basically catch it and shoot. There was a whistle before the bell. So it might have been a foul here. Yeah. Bell was on Kramer, I believe. Well, they're calling it on the Nighthawks. Man. On the Nighthawks? Yeah, that's rough. Foul on Bonner. I didn't see that. Yeah, I would bet the fouls are easily over double. Simon Frazier and Nighthawks. And I would say that the non foul calls have gone. Predominantly in one direction. And that takes care of the third quarter here at NNU. With a score of 68 52 after three. We'll be back after this break. It's your Idaho Central app here. Any chance you're missing a debit card? Let's get that taken care of for you. With ICCU's card control, you can turn any card off with the tap of your finger. You got it. And back on again. Ow, 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 ow. The closest Idaho Central credit union branch is in your pocket. All right, here we go in the fourth quarter in this game against uh, Simon Frazier. It'll be their ball with the lead 68-52. Well, the first three quarters, Simon Frazier has been a dominant team in every facet. More energy, better rebounds, and you kind of hung around okay in that third quarter, but Simon Frazier has absolutely been the better team so far. Now, again, not impossible, but we'll see what happens in this fourth quarter. Driving down toward the lane and getting open, but then passing it out was Jones. Shot no good. Attempted by Wasatsky. And they call a foul on Jones, I believe. Yeah, but Jessica Jones, but she is a great player, great ball handler, great mover on the court. Fun to watch her play tonight. But she's the one on the other press. She's a press breaker. She's the one that dribbles it up. Ball handler for the Simon Frazier. That was only her second foul. Nobody in foul trouble for Simon Frazier. There's a reason for that, Ron. <laughs> All right, still at the top of the circle. Now still gets it inside to you. Yeah, go over the hole, Silv. Like that play. Got her own rebound. Tries to get it up there. Yeah. And there is a whistle, finally. Yeah. So she'll get some shots, I believe. Yep. So she... Did a good job to get the ball back after missing that shot. Yeah, no, she, and Silva's just, she's tough. She's a tough player. She likes to uh, get in there and get dirty, and uh, she is aggressive, and I love that play. It's just the problem with her tonight is that she's got some, got some fouls, and that's just limited her ability to be on the floor. Well, she leads uh, NNU with eight rebounds tonight. Yep, and that's on limited time, too. Again, Simon Fraser breaks it quickly. Swank takes it all the way down, one on two, throws it up there, and is fouled on the shot. Yep, and again, that's a good play. They just didn't get there in time. It's an easy blocking call to make. And again, someone let loose in the middle. You got to step up for a charge there when you see that person's broken the press. All right, I think Sewell just fouled out. Oh, that's too bad. 
Yeah, Silva just, it's, you saw last time down the court, she's just an asset, she's a starter. And just got in foul trouble too early and just would limit her ability to impact this game. She comes away with only two points, but that eight rebounds. Yeah. Thaw back with a rebound after the missed free throw, 54-69, nine one to play. Pinson takes a little jumper. It's up and good. There we go. See if we can get a little, uh, little. Jordan's had a couple of those little jumpers tonight. Nine points now for her. Again, the ball hammer has no one covering. Oh, there's a travel. There he is. That ref is Mr. Travel tonight. It's his fifth travel call he's called. And that was also a travel. So a good stop for Ren and you, and now a chance to maybe squeeze this lead down a little bit. Yep, yep, every, again, there's plenty of time. Basketball can change in a hurry. Pinson. You've got to win each possession. Pinson, Pinson, no, off the rim, no good. You also have a little bit of luck too sometimes. By Koski, or excuse me, by uh, Kramer. Okay, Clark picks up that foul. So second team foul on NU. I think that would have been okay. I think, you know, so the key is because the player falls down these are the foul. I think the, the, the trap was a little too aggressive in their face and knocked her down. So that one felt like a good call. But again, see again. Jones takes it all the way in there and then passes it out, knocked out of bounds. By Lydia. Yeah. Nieto. Oh, they call an offensive foul. Let's call a charge. To, yeah. It's on Jessica Jones. I missed that completely. It was oh. a charge there on Jessica Jones. Yeah, that's her third foul. Yeah, and again, got a little mountain to climb here. Yeah, a great steal job. by Jones. Great job by Jones there. One on one, she takes it all the way and then gets bumped. Oh, that was not fair, I don't think. As they made just a little bit of contact before. Jones lost the ball out of bounds. Jordan did her best to stop that play, but yeah. uh, kind of a, a size mismatch for sure. Yeah. They typically are going to call those fouls. Wasn't a lot of contact, but enough to think worthy of a call. <clears throat> Jones' points are mounting as she has 11 now. Yeah, Jones is a great player. Fun to watch her tonight. And great ball handler, rebounder. And that one just great, great court vision to uh, cause a steal. She has eight rebounds as well. Kanishka in there gets it to Faba. Nye goes to the baseline. Goes around the defender. <laughs> throws it up on the inside of the hoop. It did come back through. Shouldn't that be two points? Yeah, I think I've learned at one point that is not a legal shot. So <laughs> she gets free throws, though. She gets some free throws. That's true. That's going to bring uh, Gemma. Gemma, I should say, Cutler in there. I think is how you pronounce her name. Well, they're already at four fouls with 71. So get one more. We're going to need a lot of free throws potentially. Alan Hart. Nice shot. The key is going to be stops. The key, I mean, again, the Nighthawks look exhausted. The key is going to be can they muster some energy, get some spark to get some stops here. That's going to be the key to this game because they, they feed off their steals and their intense defense. The problem is Simon Frazier has broken that press all night tonight with open layups. Traveling call. Going to turn around here. And that's the same ref again who called the travel. So he's watching them, even and out those travel calls now. Basically, she didn't jump stop well enough there. Got a little hop step and a jump step. Sophia Klassen back in there. Again, even a little three-point shot would get us within 10 here. Just a, this game's by far being over. We just need a little, some buckets to fall. It's a good D. Pinson, Kanishka, and now Clark. I will say Simon Frazier had phenomenal. Oh, Jordan had open look there. And a little bit of a 
contact down below, and they're going to call a foul on Cutler. And a foul that go back to the line. Battle away with it. So again, we're now at the bonus. So she'll get some shots, and we have seven minutes of this. I just be aggressive on offense because they they're going to try even those foul calls over eventually. All right, Cutler now with two fouls. That's going to be hard. Ooh, real long. Up and good by Nye. Got possession by possession, Ron. And uh, this game's far from over. We just got to find a little spark on defense. All right, she takes care of the free throws. And the key here is not fouling them. Be aggressive without fouling. Eight points now for Thawback. Clark gets called for the foul as she missed it the first attempt and then grabbed the arm on the second. Yeah, and again, she's going for the steal, and I think that's the right call. We love the idea. It comes a point when you got to decide risk reward, how close am I? And Jones inbounds. Oh, good move there. Wasatsky, no good. Rebound by Thurman. Or, excuse me, thought back. What a great play by 14 Simon Fraser. She's a great player. Shoot that ball. Kate okay, Clark gets a three. All of a sudden, Ron, we got an eight point game. That's what we needed, a we're, nice three-pointer. We were calling for a three. And uh, but yeah, Jessica Wazotsky, she is a phenomenal player. She's a, had some threes, great rebounder, but it was a big three by um, the Nighthawks. Again, it's only eight points. So we got a lot of time here. What you've seen is Simon Fraser has gone back to reality in their shooting. And so the key is gonna be good defense, clear stops, don't foul them, and on offense, uh, do the best you can to go after them because they're gonna call they're gonna call us fouls. So the key is I think, I think the fouls will be the key going forward. You can not foul them, they're gonna be fouling you. You have a chance to uh, you know, eight points is nothing. We were down five points with like forty-five seconds to go in last game, so Yeah, we're still in it. 7163, 710 to play. We'll be right back. So Ron, they come out of this, again, I, I trust Coach Steele. I almost wonder if uh, that press is worth hanging on to. Um, that's where we've gotten fouls, and we've not gotten many turnovers tonight. And I wonder if just staying with it is, is worth it. We'll see. I would say stay in it, but don't foul, because they'll go to the line now, and that's how you can absolutely keep them that lead big. See you right there. Man. And went back to protect, and that was a basket for Cutler. Yeah, see, I, I would break out of that zone. They, they're too good, and they have not given enough turnovers on our, our, break, our press. Oh, that is fouled again by Cutler. And we're, with five fouls uh, this quarter, that'll put Thaw back on the line, and uh, Coach Langford decides to talk a little bit about that to the referee. Yep. Well, again, um, you know, Coach Steele is the expert, but I think we just have not seen the risk reward there for that press break and that last bucket they made down there. You know, make some free throws. That's that first last miss. Um, press down there, they just got to open look again because we weren't back. So I just, I mean, pressure the ball handler, but I think that press is just not getting us where we want it to go. All right, thought back looking for a ninth point. Gets it up and good. All right, again, good defense. Boy, just be smart. Don't let them get behind you. Again, no problem with the press for Simon Fraser. Again, I like the half-court trap. That is strong, but yeah. Key is for a good defensive stop here. The mismatch on the block by Jordan trying to cover 11. They get out of it. Now Jordan again down low trying to protect. And oh, a rebound offensively and put up and good by Swint. That's too bad. An unlucky break. Again, their three-point shooting has not been as strong as we, we probably predicted it would be. They are shooting so well that first half. All knocked out of bounds. 75-64. Again, just possession by possession. Everything is big. Plenty of time still, but you just want to be smart as you can. I would say go after the hole. They're going to probably foul you if you go to the hole. Nope, don't take that shot. Thaw back. 
It's good wow. for a three. Big bucket, big bucket. Again, some threes have fallen here. The key is some stops. You want the defensive stops without fouling them. 12 play points now. Play That's smart. Going to the basket un undefended uh, and laying it in is Clayson. Boy, and Tegan Haddle. Fast break. break. Clark misses the lay in. Thurman gets the rebound, puts it up and in, and gets a three point opportunity. So Tegan back in the game at the right time here. Yeah. Tegan's just so strong. I just, it's good to see her. But I feel like her energy is the one that's still up from Thursday. Can we cut this lead to seven? She can knock this down. All right, she's got uh, 16, I believe. Okay, here we go. Different press here, a little more trap. Oh, man. That was a dangerous pass from Simon Frazier. Nylock didn't see it. A steal. Tanishka taking all the win. Lays it up and misses the lay-in. Oh, my. We're going to call a foul on someone. I think it was on. Yeah, kind of Kanishka. That's too bad. She had that. Kanishka. Oh, man, that could have been cut to a five-point lead. The reality is she was kind of being fouled down the court. They didn't call it, but she yeah. just kind of stopped. They would have plowed through her for a foul, but that's too bad. Well, she was the hero on uh, Thursday night. Still some game left in this one. Let's oh, see. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of game left here. Been love to push it in five points, though. If we can get it to five or four, you know they're going to be Simon Frazier's going to get nervous. Because we are. And getting the bounce and up and in there, Jessica Wasatsky. Yeah, and the key, I think, for us is just not fouling. I think you make them earn it from the stripe. Their shooting percentage has been going down all half. All right, 17 points for her. Kanishka gets it inside of Thurman, backs into the defender, gets that's the a, shot off, and gets called for traveling. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, that's an absolute good call. I saw her back up there and didn't dribble and travel all day. Again, Simon Frazier gets it past the halfway line. Oh, that's a ticky tack call. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, the refs are calling all, all the fouls right now. It's so not absolutely when you're on offense, just go with the hole because they're calling everything. So that one's really ticky tack. And actually, her own player knocked her harder than Thawback did. But. Well, we're in the penalty now, both teams. So. Exactly. And that's where you got to do everything you can to play good defense, but make them make shots. Don't foul. And at this point, you got to know the refs are calling it tight. That means you got to play off a little bit. And there's Jones again, making yeah, the free throw. Jones just so solid. All aspects for a game, dribbling, rebounding, shooting. He's a great player. Yeah, if I'm, on, if I'm on offense, I tell them to just take the ball and drive the hole. See right there? Ticky-tack call. They're going to call that. They're calling everything right now. So if I'm on defense, for defense, I would say chill out, give them some space, but on offense, go at them, because the refs are calling absolutely everything right now. And this, and this game's going to be won and lost in the free throw line a little bit. Sophie Clayson is back in there. Thawback comes out. Lydia Nieto comes in for NNU. And Kate Clark will be at the line. And of course, you got to make all these free throws if you want to stay in this game. No, no good. It's not going to get it done. Kate Here. has eight points tonight. That was her first free throws. You're down by this much. It's long, too. Gets her own rebound. And now. He's going to go back to the line. He's going to get some more opportunity. <laughs> and that is so like Kay Clark, right? She's not giving up on any play. She saw that rebound, and she absolutely went for it. Kay and Emma Clark, I love how hard they play. There's a ball on the floor, and they're going for it. Kay can knock these down now. It's an anomaly to have all those two misses there. A chance for redemption here to. Keep it close. We've got to make these free throws here, though. Uh-oh, here comes the uh, three-point shooter in the first half, Grace Killens back in the and game. And actually, that was Jessica John's fifth foul. So she's now out of the game. Oh, come on, ladies. Ah, man. 
Can't miss three three throws. That's just unacceptable. That is not how you get back in this game. There you go. All right. Play some D, play off a little bit. No one they're going to call everything. You got to keep your hands off. But it is no where they did. There you go. Clark gets the steal, goes for the ball. There's going to be a jumper. Nope, they got a timeout. See, if you, one thing you saw is that um, Jessica jo Jones is the one who brought the ball up the court. Because of that, um, they don't have a good ball. Well, they haven't got good mini ball handlers, but that was the one who was breaking their presses. So that's why I think stay in the press now and see if somebody well, else besides Jessica can break it. All right. We'll take a short pause here. Be back in a minute. Four forty to play here in the fourth quarter. Ten point deficit that uh, NNU is going to try to uh, take care of. Yeah, again, plenty of time here. The key is just um, honoring every possession, and I always still be aggressive because they are calling lots of things, and I think you're getting more calls fouled. And that ball is put up and in by Lydia Ko as the defenders went to Jenkins, and she just went around everybody. Good job by. Cammy there. We won't have the steal, but knew she wasn't going to get there in time, so backed off. And Jones is one of their leaders, so having her out of the floor, be careful, be careful. Jump ball, ball created oh, there by call. Nieto. A great, <laughs> and that was close because they had to be called foul there, but she had a hand in the ball, and that ref called it jump, so getting their chance to chip away that lead. Has 20 turnovers now for Simon Fraser, and in US 21. Again, I would absolutely be aggressive here, go right at him. Give it to Tegan down below. Pinson, Thurman, the baseline, one on one. And she missed the oh. land. Another jumper, maybe? Yeah, it should be a jump. It's going to go towards Simon Fraser. Oh, Tegan, that was too bad. That was a great look. <laughs> she screams the wake out. She knows it, too. Oh, it was a great move. Just missed it. All right. Thurman comes out. Kate Clark back in. Yeah, see, Emma was. There it is. Kanishka gets it. Come on, Pinson Jordan. will try a three. It's good. Yes. Jordan Pinson. See, I said Emma with, with uh, Jessica Johns going out. It's 81-76. This game's not over. Like, I, I think Jessica Johns getting her fifth, or Jones getting her fifth foul is a huge thing. They have pressed her, and she was the main one breaking the press all night. And the last two times down the court, they've had turnovers in that press break. So now I'd reverse my course of action and absolutely press, because they are nervous and they're feeling that pressure, Ron. Well, no question then and you can do it, as we've seen uh, already uh, once this week, and they do it again. Well, the question is, Ron, can they dig deep? I mean, the question is, do you want it bad enough? It feels like the energy has popped back up. Obviously, only a five-point difference. But again, the difference is that the last two times down the court, I think their major tactic for breaking the press is Jessica, and she's on the bench. So I think they're nervous, and I would absolutely keep it up. The key is don't foul. You don't want to foul. and get, get the refs are calling it tight. But if you can play smart, they'll give you some more turnovers. But I think Simon Fraser's nervous. All right. 16 points now for Thurman in uh, only 17 minutes of play. 12 each for Pinson and Thawback. 11 for Jenkins. Again, with the press, you don't want to foul, Ron. You want to be aggressive, but just watch your body control because their refs are calling it tight, which is totally fine. Calling it both ways. 17 for with, with Sotsky. 
15 for Killens, 14 for Jones, and 15 for Swamp. Yeah, they're going to call that on. You guys have to be smarter than that. They're absolutely calling everything. You cannot do that. Man, you've got to coach them up there. So the worst thing you want to have happen is putting them on the line because, again, you want to be aggressive, but that was a foul all day long. Four fouls now on Nieto. Yeah, then you run out of players. I mean, again, the key is playing aggressive, but don't foul. Let them make the mistakes. You put them in the line, you calm them down, you give them a chance to get more points. Now, the benefit is there's no time off the clock, and if you can miss some free throws, okay, but you just don't want to foul at all at this juncture. Now, money free throw there. Swint puts it in there. No doubt about that one. That's her 16th point tonight. Yeah. But he uh, misses that when Thurman gets the rebound. Cut a break. Again, be smart. Jordan, pull up again if you're feeling it. Clark I'd looks get, inside. I'd, I'd get into Tegan. Tegan again. She has a great baseline move there. Can get open. There it is. Thurman gets it, one-on-one -on -one against the defender, passes it out. Can be long enough. Nieto misses it, but it's offensively boarded in there by Kate Clark. <laughs> Kate had a little push-off she got away with there. Benson goes around the defender, takes it to the hole, but the ball is blocked from behind, out of bounds. Nice block there by Sophie Klassen. Yeah, it's a great block. I thought I might get a foul on the body shot there, but it's a clean block. All right, McKenna Gardner comes in. And Nighthawks take a timeout. We'll take a pause right here for this break. Eighty-two seventy-six. Three uh, minutes and four seconds to go. It'll be NNU with a baseline play. Jordan Pinson. NNU has a play here. Now throw it in, Jordan. She got it in barely. Yeah, at that point, you just throw it in and it's turnover. Oh, a nice drive to the basket by Kate Clark, but she missed the lane oh, and a fight for the rebound. I believe it's going to be a foul. On foul back, I think. Ah, oh, it's too bad. That's her fourth foul. Oh man, I could have fallen so easy. And then you shooting 37.9% tonight from the field. It just feels like Ron, again, that could have put it to a, a four point game. They like just to get so close. Something's not falling, but that's okay. We're in this, we got three minutes left, tons of time left. It's a couple oh. of those breaks that need to fall with that open layup there. Just gotta, it's a little tight on that one. Aaron Jenkins goes in for Thawback. And up and good. Both shots good by Klassen. Yeah, big free throws there. No doubters. I would still go in to, I was going to Tegan again. Jenkins passes it back out. Clark. When well, Summergard Tegan and gets it to Thurman. Thurman at the free throw line. Takes it one on one against the defender. And you can't stop her there, but she missed it. Man. A lot of missed lanes tonight. There you go. Oh, Jordan almost had it. And Jordan is so good about picking it clean without reaching. She's in the top five in steals uh, this year. Yeah, Tegan just needs a breather there. That last offensive spot, she just was. 221. Let's see if uh, Simon Fraser slows it down here a little bit. Yeah, two minutes to go. It's got to be, it's go time now. That's steal. Steal by Nieto. That's going to be charging. They're talking about it. He called the charge. I think they're going to reverse this call. I think the other refs saw it the other way. They're talking about the. Uh, they're going to the charge. They're going to. They're going to. I think they're going to have a conversation on this. 
It was close. I thought when she's running down the court, she might have been there. She tried to do a Euro step, so I don't know if she slid, and I also don't know if she's in the in restricted area. I don't know if she was too deep, but when I saw her coming at it, I thought it was going to be, it could have been a charge, but that's what he called, and they're going to, they're going to, they're talking about it, which it's a huge call because if they reverse it, it'll be an and one. So we'll see. Yeah, you don't see a reverse call very often, so it'd be unusual. Yeah, they're calling a charge. I believe that's her fifth foul also. That's a huge call. Yeah, I, it was tight. It's too bad. Again, we need some breaks here. That would have been a huge break. Well, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Simon Fraser only has one three-pointer this second half after having seven in the first half. So uh, that's kept NNU back in the game here. Yep, well, again, they're cool. They're shooting cooled off, and so Coach Steele is going to challenge it. He knew it was close, and that was a good challenge because um, they didn't do see video review. I, I, when I saw it live, Ron, and you called it, it looked like a charge. So the question would be, is, is she in the restricted area? I don't know that she was. And seeing it live, uh, I, I, I felt it was a charge. But they'll look at the video and look at it again. We haven't seen the video up here, but it's a big, it's a huge call. I mean, really. It's a major call in this game because either uh, they get the ball or a chance for to cut it to a five point five point lead. So five point differential. So not a make or break of this game, but a huge, be huge break for the Nighthawks. Here we go. Yeah, Let's see right here. Got a replay here. I'm going to yeah. Let me see. It. I was out one time. I'll see it again. If we can. She Euro stepped it. Here we go. Where is she in the restricted area? So she slid over. She's out of the restricted area. I think it's going to be a charge. I believe you're right. Yeah, she Euro stepped aside it a little bit, but I think I think it's a good call to call the charge. It's too bad, but I think she squared it up, and um, and I don't think she slid. Sometimes when they Euro step, they slide into the charge. It felt like she was there solidly. So, but we'll see the refs call. But it'd be a huge break to go the other way, but it feels like us up here in the booth, whatever we know, it feels like that's the right call, but we'll see. Regardless, we got two minutes to go. Um, on our charge, there are no foul, sh no foul shots. Obviously, uh, Lee Nieto, if that foul holds, then she'll be out of the game. But again, a big swing here. They know it was close, because when they saw it live, they wanted to have a conversation about it. Well, a big game for Wasaski now, who has 17 points and uh, eight rebounds. The nice thing, Ron, is the Nighthawks have fought back in it. I mean, they were down by 12 to 13, 14 points only about seven, eight minutes ago. And so they fought back, and, you know, obviously eight points is a tough differential. But again, big call here. I, I think I know it's going to go. Well, certainly uh, the second quarter was kind of a that was Hard. a killer. Yes, uh, made a big difference. We actually uh, have won the second half. So we got the, the council here where they're going to decide. Oh, oh man, are they reversing this call? Well, it could be they, they're saying that uh, so Simon, he's the pointing. defender moved a little bit. They shuffled. Shuffled to the left as the uh, offensive player moved. And That's the only you, thing they could, oh, Simon Fraser coach is not happy. Well, if, if she moved a little bit, then uh, she didn't have position. Yeah, right. So that's what they're looking for. Yeah, if she does, you're right. If she moves over and slides a little bit. Now, yeah, Senator Fraser coach is not happy. We haven't heard decision yet. Yep, they reversed that call. They're going to give her a foul shot and one. Wow, that's a huge call. Right. Wow, that is a big call. I, the only thing, Ron, is they must have seen her move her feet. Yep. And obviously, on the replay, I have to show that. I, I, I didn't see it, but huge call. Well, Lydia actually pointed it out after the, the call. Okay, we can cut this to five now. Wow, that was, that was a break, Ron. I mean, we needed a little break here. Basketball goes lots of ways. Officials did their best job. That was a, could have gone either way. Obviously, a good challenge. 
Well, this could make it a uh, four-point game. Five-point game, yep. Up and good, five-point game. All right, again, five to I play. would say don't foul, don't foul, don't foul, don't foul. Another oh. breakaway pass, but they're going to slow it down, of course. That was really smart, really smart. Again, I would say just play tough defense. You're in play, you don't need to foul them. Just play a good D. 23 on the shot clock. Swant with the ball. Oh, Jordan could have got a foul there. Got 13 on the shot clock. Gardner with the ball. Yeah, there's a, there's a nervousness by Simon Frazier. Pass inside oh, and laying it up and in oh. is Swint. What an absolute great move, great finish there. It's all right, but a great play by Simon Frazier. Jenkins fakes the three, goes into the hole, can't get it to go, no foul. Yeah, no, that's a good no call there. Be careful, just don't foul. Uh, we got three on one now. And there's a foul, <coughs> a foul. <coughs> excuse me, on Clark, and yeah. the basket's good. Yeah, coaches want to say what happened on the on Jenkins foul there. I think, yep. Again, all of a sudden like that, Ron, it is back to possibly a 10-point game here. It was five, it was just five points. Do you, you 30 seconds ago. So another three-point play for Jessica Wasatsky. He has really mounted up the points here in this last quarter. So it's the score, 88-79 and 116. We've got a timeout, so we'll take a timeout as well. All right, and you with the ball. Yeah, at this point, you've got to score it every time you can. I love going to the hole. Jordan Pinson can't get it to go. Boy, I got a lucky break there. Simon Frazier's all around them, knocked the ball out. You're going to need some big buckets and some breaks here to make this happen. Boy, we've had a lot of lay-ins or missed short shots in the paint. Yeah. Rebound Boy. by Slant, and she's fouled by Nieto, and yeah. that will be her fifth. I think uh, a foul could be the beginning of just trying a desperation then. And at this point, too, in offense, you've got to shoot big threes. At this point, you're going to rely upon them to make, miss some free throws, and if they don't, they'll seal it on themselves. Evidently, that foul was on uh, Kanishka. Yeah. Simon Frazier played so well tonight. Money down the line with free throws. Well, they certainly played with more energy, I think, than the inning you had. Yeah, from the very beginning. I think inning you picked up a little in the fourth quarter here. But overall, Simon Frazier was ready to go, and I think we just were just too exhausted from Thursday. And I think by mentally just kind of a little let down, which can always happen against big big opponents. Obviously, we're taking Simon Frazier for granted, but you kind of think, oh, we're better than they are on the record. And so, you know, but just the energy wasn't there. All right, well, a little bit uh, insurmountable now as you look at the score of 91 to 79. Yeah, at this point, it's at this point, it's it's uh, going to be really need a huge break. You need big threes and some and some turnovers. So anything's possible. But at this point, you'd like to be we were down by a five. That was a great spot. They got, they got an easy two pointer, and then it is we couldn't convert on the offensive end. Two players with 20 points now for Simon Frazier. Swant and Wisotsky. 20 points each. And uh, they're shooting 47.5% tonight. Jenkins will try a three and gets it. That's one bucket. You get a turnover here. Yep, that's all right. You got to do it. Quick foul with 55 seconds left. So what you have to do, you're going to need is some breaks. I'm missing some free throws. Um, obviously, making threes are big, but... 
obviously just changing threes for two free throws is not enough, but they have to because there's not a possessions left to make any more. Well, and then you has made four threes in the second half. Yep, and again, as our bad as our percentage was, it's gotten better. We kind of predicted there'd be a leveling off there. All right, that's the fifth. Well, Kate Clark comes out. Bonner comes in. Of course, Annalyn, only a freshman from Eagle. But that Boy. first one is good by Swint. Yeah, they have not missed a free throw in a long time, I don't think. Let me ask a couple, I guess we had a couple minutes ago we missed one, but then clutch recently. There's one miss. Missed that one. Now it's a point. matter of time. I just pull up for a three. That's yeah, one way to do it, too. Or get an and one. Not giving up, going down swinging. And that's good because we're going to play uh, Simon Frazier again next week. So yeah, that'd be very interesting how that, that game goes. We played obviously a much better second half. They just had a, such a big a lead. Oh, man. Ball missed. Yeah. Foul on Pinson. And that'll put Cutler on the line. Yeah. Ellie Salisbury will come in now for Bonner. And she's a three-point shooter, isn't she? She is. She's two for two this year. Doesn't get a lot of playing time, but uh, certainly a valuable member of this team. Oh, of course. Well, it's a good case in point, Ron. You know, we have players on the bench with a lot of minutes. They contribute so much to the team during practices and part of the games. And, you know, obviously not everybody get all the minutes, but bench players play a vital role of any successful team. Uh, Ellie probably would have played more this weekend, but she was gone this week. Uh, her fiance has been shipped out to, oh boy. to Romania. And so she went back to see him before he left. So she was gone in this practice. So get her the ball, let her shoot. Pinson, open look, but no. Kanishka will try one, can't get it. Fight for the rebound. Salisbury tips it up to Jenkins. Pinson now will try a three. It's up and no good. Fight for the board. It's off of uh, Kanishka, I believe, and it's yeah. going to be with 27 seconds left. 93-84 the score, and Simon Frazier will have an inbound play. And a quick foul there. Jenkins picks that up. That's only her third foul. Bonner comes in now for Woody Nieto. Ellie's hoping for a long pass, I think. Down well, they're, here. they're set up to do a quick three. They can get a rebound and clearance. Overall, Simon Frazier just been really clutch on their free throws down the stretch. Yeah, they ended up with their normal average of 72%. Yep. So now the averages kind of come back to fruition, isn't it, Ron? Yep. Oh, she missed that one. Jenkins. Pinson quickly down there. Jenkins takes it down to the left side. Don't take it all the way in for the basket. Yeah, there's too many uh, layups didn't go in tonight, unfortunately. Jenkins down was 18 points. Kanishka fouls with 12 seconds left. Yeah, at this point. Third on Kanishka. So at the free throw line is Sofia Wasatsky. Only a freshman. And Jessica's a sophomore. So uh, Simon Fraser basketball will see them for a few more years. Again, I don't remember a time when our women gave up 96 points. So that's a. Yeah, it's been a long time. One of the better defensive teams. But Simon Fraser came to play today. No good. Attempted by Bonner and knocked out of bounds. And they give it to White. And then you will get one last chance with two seconds left. Get it to Ellie Salisbury. <laughs> nope, it's Bonner. And it's short. And that'll do it. 96-86. As NNU did come back, but they just couldn't uh, handle it. A very uh, aggressive and energetic Simon Fraser team. 
So with that, NNU goes to uh, seven and five in GNAC, 13 and seven overall. Simon DeFraser now five and six in GNAC and nine and 11 overall. So as we said, NNU goes on the road against Simon Frazier again next week on the 15th, 17th against St. Martin's, 19th Western Oregon, 21st Western Oregon or Washington. And then the final home games will be the 24th and 26th against Seattle Pacific and Montana State Billings. Well, Brent, you any last uh, comments? Yeah, boy, that Thursday game was just so thrilling. And tonight, you just saw them begin. I was nervous that the energy and the letdown game was what was happening. And Simon Frazier, um, they won this game by far and away. They they played out that first half. They killed it. They were shooting on fire. That that cooled off in the second half. But we couldn't overcome the beginning. We had some time to cut, to cut the lead to five points at the end. We fought a little harder the last 10 minutes of the game. But in the end, it's not enough. Um, I think the energy level was just not quite there. Um, as you did, a lot of missed layups, I think, hurt us. And uh, in the end, just Simon Frazier was a better team tonight. And again, we had a chance to get them in a couple of days. But I just think overall, the, the, the emotional letdown energy from that last game couldn't overcome that. And just not quite precise enough. Too many on the fast break open layups. That press break was just too strong tonight. And, and that ultimately did us in. But again, you love the fight. They fought to the very end within five minutes, within five points with two minutes to go. And, and just couldn't get any more getting closer than that. So anyway, but good effort. Um, they'll regroup and they'll they got some more games to play. So we'll see what happens on the road. All right. Well, thank you, Brent. Appreciate that. And uh, high scores tonight. Swent at 21 with Sotsky had 21. And uh, two of the players in double figures. Killens who had five threes in the first half. And Jones with 14. And then you had 18 from Aaron Jenkins. 12 each from Thawback and Pinson, and 16 from Tegan Thurman in limited 18 minutes. All right, well, with that, uh, we'll say good night and take care. We'll catch you back here on the 24th and 26th for the final home games. So take care and God bless.